Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and a new conversation. My name is Kristen Vincenti, and I am the assistant to the director. Today, we will be looking at a photograph of and by Eleanor Anton in her series, The King of Solana Beach. Working since the early 1960s, Eleanor Anton has created a body of work that explores history, contemporary culture, and identity from a feminist perspective. Before devoting herself to the visual arts, Anton was a poet and an actress. Drawing on this background, she has integrated language, character, costume, and voice into the mediums of painting, sculpture, and photography. Her disregard for the boundaries between art, performance, and theater opened possibilities for younger generations of artists working between the studio and the stage. Initially developing her practice amid New York's artistic and literary avant-garde, in 1969, Anton moved to San Diego, where she became deeply involved with the local feminist movement and participated in activities at the Women's Building, an arts and education center in Los Angeles. She was also a key figure within the vibrant community of leftist artists and writers affiliated with the University of California, San Diego, where she taught from 1975 until 2002. This image is from Anton's series named King of Solana Beach, which was created from 1972 to 1975. She pasted a beard onto her face, donned a cape and wide brimmed hat, and made the rounds of San Diego as the King of Solana Beach, a figure with a distinct resemblance to the 17th century monarch in portraits by Van Dyck. Trailed by bemused locals, the king shops for groceries, goes to the post office, and perches regally on an old sofa that's been left at the curb. Since the early 2000s, Anton has been making large-scale photographic tableau that mine classical history and art history to reflect on current issues such as environmental destruction and modern warfare. These bodies of work, like the ones that precede them, are often marked by wit and humor, even as they engage serious, even dark matters. Be sure to check back tomorrow at 10 a.m. for another work and conversation.